Yo, what is up squad? It's your boy Pino E here. I just want to give a big thank you to all of you who've been supporting me in this channel. This is just a reminder to let you all know that I really do appreciate you. So with that out the way, smash that like button and let's go. Let's kick today off with Vans and a look at their upcoming collaboration with Supreme, consisting of the Vans Lampin and Skate Mid silhouettes. I like the collection of what they did here, using a combination of croc embossed suede, corduroy and leather on the uppers, with each pair sitting on a vulcanized rubber waffle outsole. Finishing each pair off, you can find Stitch Supreme branding on the tongue of the Lampins and on the heels of the Skate Mid. Pretty nice collection overall, and if you like them, you can pick up a pair tomorrow, June 21st, unless you're in Japan, and for you, the date is June 23rd. Good luck! We have just one quick item for Adidas today, and it's a look at their newest collaboration with Parlay. This pair comes dressed in a raw gray, carbon, and blue spirit colorway constructed of a prime knit upper featuring a plastic keel counter made from recycled ocean plastic sitting on a white boost mid and outsole. I don't like this silhouette, but I do like the cause and the attention Parlay and Adidas are bringing to environmental awareness. So if you like the shoe, the collab, or just the message, heads up, these are available now on adidas.com for $180. Over to Nike, and some of you might recall that a few months back, I let you all know that there was a Just Do It pack dropping with something like 30 different pairs and colorways. Just yesterday, we saw the all-new Nike EXP X14 Just Do It in white, and today we got the official images of the pair in a black, orange, and white colorway. I've been thinking about this silhouette, and I really like what Nike's done with the design and the use of the materials. They're kind of dope. I'm not sure if this black pair is dropping the same day as the white, so if you have your eyes on these, you're going to have to stay tuned. So while I don't have the official images for every pair dropping in the pack just yet, I do have a few. And next up, we have a look at the grade school exclusive Nike Air Max 270 Just Do It, and these are dope. As you would expect, the upper is white with black Just Do It text feature. Finishing the look off, we have an infrared colorway hitting the Nike swoosh, the lacing system, and the 270 airbag. Unfortunately, these don't have a date just yet, but they should be dropping soon. So if these are on your radar, keep your eyes open and good luck. So when Nike goes OD with something, they really go O fucking D, and the collection will include not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six. Wait, I passed it. It will include three colorways of the Nike Benassi slides. Your choice for the slides are black with white and orange text and branding, orange with white and black text or branding, or white with black and orange text and branding. Unfortunately, the images aren't available for the white pair at this time but these do not have a release date and some retailers have already dropped them. So if you need these for the summer, keep your eyes open, they're available now. And next up from the Just Do It pack, we got the Nike Air Force One Low Just Do It in Orange. In total, I believe there are four pairs of the Air Force One Low in this pack, but there will only be one other pair like this one coming in a white colorway. For this pair, we get a leather upper flooded in orange with old Nike Just Do It branding and slogans the brand used during the 1990s. I don't mind this pair. If I choose to buy any from the collection, it's either going to be these, the matching white of these, or the Air Max 97, which look dope. Anyway, once again, no date, but the retail on these will be set at $130 retail. I told you when Nike goes OD, they do not fuck around. And next we got the Nike Air Max 95 Just Do It with the pair coming in a black and white colorway with the obvious highlight of the shoe being the all over Just Do It text covering the upper. I don't like this pair. I think even with the over the top branding, they look too plain in this colorway. But the good thing with this pack is there's like 6,000 pairs dropping. So if you don't like these, maybe you'll like this pair. The second Nike Air Max 95 with this one coming in a black, orange, and white colorway featuring that same all over just do it text that we just saw. Yo, this collection's really crazy. What we haven't seen yet is the white Air Force One low, another two Air Force One lows that match these 95s, a Nike Air Max one that matches this black Air Max 95, two pairs of the Air Force One high matching these 95s, but that's not it. Nope, because there's an Air Max 97, two pairs of the Air Max 270, two pairs of the Presto Fly, and that's just for the men. I'm not even gonna list everything for the women, but stay tuned and I'll have pictures soon. And next up, like I mentioned earlier, I really like the Nike EXP X14, and we got two more colorways on the way. I think this makes the fifth colorway that we've seen so far, and the shoes haven't even released yet. Looking at this silhouette, you could really see the design inspiration that Nike got from the Zoom Fly, the Epic React, and the Element 87. And I like how they use the internal code name for React in the official naming of the shoe. I'm referring to X14, and in case you weren't aware, that's what Nike's code name for React was while it was still under development. One of these two pairs comes dressed in 
in a white upper with gray tones, the other in blue hues, and both sit on a white React mid. There's no word on when these might drop, but you could expect them soon on Neki.com. Keeping this fucking train moving, we got another new silhouette from Nike, this one going by the name of the Nike Air Max 270 Futura. So this model hasn't yet been unveiled by Nike, but according to the boys at Beaverton, the inspiration behind this model is the Nike Tri-X 97, which is this shoe up on screen, and I mean you could definitely see where the inspiration came from. The pair will come constructed in a mix of materials, including mesh, leather, and synthetic suede, and when they make their way to stores, they will come with a $140 retail price tag. I don't like this model, but when I posted them up on my IG story last night, and if you're not following me on Instagram, stop sleeping, my name over there is PinoE77. But when I posted them last night, I got a ton of comments from people who think they're dope. So I mean, I don't know, maybe I'm missing something. The model will come in both men's and women's sizing, and there's going to be a number of colorways that you get to choose from if you're a fan. So leave a comment below, let me know what y'all think. Next up, let's talk about Paul George's kicks. Here's my thoughts. The PG-1 was dope, and I'm glad I got to buy a few colorways of that model. The PG-2, in my opinion, it was kind of whack. I didn't like that model. But next, we got the Nike PG 2.5, which, if you ask me, should actually be the 1.5 because it sits between the styling of the 2 with the midfoot strap of the 1. And that's what I like most about it. One of my favorite KD silhouettes is the 7, and I like the PG 1, and the common thing on both pairs is the midfoot strap. So I guess I'm saying I like midfoot straps. Fuck, I don't know. I'm just rambling. Anyway, the Nike PG 2.5 in black, pure platinum, and anthracite. And they drop on July 19th for $110. So let's talk Off-White next, and thanks to Paris Fashion Week, we got to see a preview of a few pairs we already knew were coming, but let's start with this pair of the Nike Air Max 97 first. For this pair, we got the model coming in an Off-White Wolf Grey and White Menta colorway, which features a rainbow gradient Nike swoosh and a baby blue zip tie, and if you're watching this video, the model looks like a tree in fall. I like these. You know I'm a fan of the 97. I like what Virgil has done with the collection, so I'm going to be trying to cop them when they release on November 10th. But we don't just get one Air Max 97, we got two. And once again, it's a colorway that we already knew was coming, this time featuring a black cone, black and white colorway, completed with a white zip tie and the familiar off-white print on the shoes paneling. Of the two pairs, I actually prefer the one that we just looked at, but the 97's dope, I don't think I've told you that in a while, and I'll also be trying to pick these up on November 10th. And next up for Off-White, we also got to look at the next Off-White Nike Blazer Mid to release with this pair coming in a black, cone, black, and white colorway. Now there's not too much different here from the first pair that released last year except for the colorway. The model continues to use an oversized Nike swoosh logo with the orange stitching, the Off-White print, and a deconstructed tongue. These don't have an exact date, but the month is September and retail set at $130. Okay, and we only got one more off-white left for today's video, and it's whatever bloody Osiris is wearing here with the pair coming in a tan and orange colorway. So I don't really have much I could add. I'm not sure if this is a custom, a friends and family pair. I don't think it's a custom, or maybe it's something that's going to drop in the future. So I guess if you like them, stay tuned. These are dope, however. Let's move on over to Jordan Brand and start this off with the first real good look at the Air Jordan Retro 1 High OG Court Purple. The first look was cool, but the lighting didn't really do that purple color any justice, so when I shared these images this morning, I was definitely sold on what we were looking at. I've said this a couple times, and I'll say it again, with the black toe color blocking, you just cannot go wrong. You could replace the green, the purple, the red, whatever, with any color in the fucking rainbow, and this shoe would be a must-have. Now, if you twisted my arm and you made me choose choose one i still think that the green color is the better of the two but only by a really slim margin so i'm hoping if things go as planned i get to pick both up for now the dates for both these pairs is set at september 22nd and retail is 160 dollars each let me know green or purple leave a comment below Next up for Jordan Brown, it was what, sometime in January or February that I shared the news that a second pair of the Air Jordan 3 JTH would release in the bio beige colorway. And it was a couple months later that I shared this look at them. Now we've known for a while that they were going to be releasing in July, and today we find out that the date is set for July 9th. While I say that, I'm also going to say hold off on asking me where they're dropping, you're going to have to stay tuned, but prepare yourself for an L. It looks like July is going to be another hot month for Jordan Brand. 
And last up for today, I want to say I'm upset that Drake and Jordan Brand couldn't get a deal sorted out. That man had so many PEs that were nothing short of dope, but for some reason, Jordan Brand didn't really use them like they should have. I really don't have anything to add to that. I'm sure there's a reason they couldn't meet somewhere for a deal and why they couldn't have dropped some of these pairs. But here's a video of what could have been an Air Jordan 14 Kentucky OVO PE. The Kentucky blue and white colorway is dope as it is, but the touches of gold on the OVO branding on the heel and the owl on the tongue are nice touches that keep the branding subtle. Although a lot of us would love if these dropped, you shouldn't ever expect to see them. And for that, I'm upset. And that does it for today's video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, and I hope you did, hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe, join the squad. If you've got something to say, leave it in the comments below. And I'm out.